Oh my god. There's no air conditioning in my car, so I had to come down to the Range Rover dealer and uh, drop off Pam's Range Rover. Some really cool cars here, these new Jaguars. You guys are going to check this out. Almost looks like my, my Aston Martin. Almost. Almost, almost. So what are you guys up to today? Missed you guys. Been really busy with all of this uh, broken metal mega dudes. Me and Ellison. Making all these insurance companies rich. This is a bad ride, huh? Look at that. That's a nice car. I saw another one they had that was carbon graphite. Let me see if I can find that one here. It's here somewhere. I remember <laughs> all those white snake videos with Tawny Katane Hump and David Coverdale's car. That was hilarious. Now that's a nice color. I like silver cars. That one doesn't look quite as, as ferocious as that other one over there. I think it's got a kid on it or something. Now this is me right here. But why get a Jaguar when you have an Aston Martin, right? Pretty cool. Let's see what this costs here. I wonder if the air conditioning works in this. What's it say? $92,000. Oh, well, I'll just write a check for that right now. I think I've got that change underneath the seat in my car. Anyways. So, tell me how you guys are doing today. I'm gonna go get my hair cut. That should be really fun. You know, it's crazy. I was watching some show last night called um, Pikey Builders or Pikey something. This new cool show from England and the guy had this crazy haircut where he almost looked like Neil Finn from Crowded House's haircut and I was thinking if I was gonna cut my hair, that'd probably be one of the ways that I'd wanna get my hair cut. No, yeah, just a trim, but, uh, you know, I'm, I don't know, Neil Finn is cool. Getting ready to, to do something with my hair. Um, Dave, David Ellison's doing great. We just talked a couple days ago. Actually, we talked yesterday, and uh, he's doing good. Uh, no, I'm quite happy with the cars I have. I've got enough cars. Um, tell me what you guys are driving. What kind of cars you guys got? Hey, that's sir. Hey, good. How are you? Bikes, 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 like bicycle bikes or motorcycle bikes. One of my buddies just started working for Harley Davidson. I used to have a fat boy. Fat boys are pretty badass. Not fat people, boys, meaning a fat dude, but um, the Harley Davidson fat boy. A <laughs> piece of shit. Uh oh, you must be talking about one of my old cars. <laughs> Man, I miss talking to you guys. I'm so happy to be able to get some time to speak with you today. Megadeth and Sabotage. Sabotage, oh yeah. In the hall of the mountain king. Uh, 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 uh. Sounds kind of a little bit uh, orgasmic, doesn't it? This is the uh, Nashville Range Rover Jaguar, I think. I know where it's at, I don't know what the name of it is. Lamborghini or Ferrari? I actually uh, like both those cars, but I'm more partial to Aston Martin. So check it out, what do you guys think? Anybody living in the Boston area? Boston, 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 anybody in the Boston area? Chicago. I'm sorry, bro. Well, the reason I was asking is just talk with my friend who is a, a manager with uh, uh, X drummer from Extreme, who's a manager too, and uh, they just hired uh, me and and uh, asked me if I wanted to get the guys in the band to come and do an acoustic performance for some Christmas stuff at Boston, in the middle of December, and uh, I thought that might be kind of cool, 
and uh, <clears throat> just thinking about it, we were thinking about doing the thrashing through the snow kind of a deal. You do love the new video, that's great, me too. I think it's really awesome. So, waiting for a rent a car right now so that I can get going to my haircut. Don't know what's happening here, so. Is that my loaner car? Please say yes. You gotta negotiate that with the owner. <laughs> you waiting for your loaner? Yeah, I gotta get to a haircut. I'm gonna be in trouble. I'm in Tennessee. I'm glad you liked that. Did you see the, uh, um, the heart that got squished? That was a pig's heart when that guy did that. It was, it was, uh, Pretty crazy. Not cut, just trim. You gotta, if you trim your hair every six weeks, it stays really healthy. Trust me, I, these things I know, I take really good care of my hair. Thanks. I use uh, Purology stuff too. It's kind of expensive, but I mean, if you figure a good bottle of shampoo will last you almost a month, so you divide, you know, whatever it is by 30, even if it's 30 bucks, you know, Spending a dollar on your hair every day. Who wouldn't want to do that to have good looking hair? Am I watching the RNC? No, but I I, uh, I thought the highlights were pretty pretty interesting, and um, I thought that uh, Donald Trump Jr. was a very eloquent speaker. Um, I was really touched when he said, my best friend, my dad. I can only hope that I'm Justice's best friend because he's such a such a, a great son. And I, you know what, I hope that you guys, I hope your parents love you as much as I love my kids. Why do I support Trump? Now, how did you get that I support Trump out of that butt whiffer? Nobody said I support Trump. I said I liked Donald Trump Jr.'s speech that I thought he was eloquent. And see, it's people like you that make me just want to punch you in the face. Just kidding. Oh, but did I say that? No, I didn't say that. Yeah. That's what I've been saying the whole time, that I was going to write in Vicar myself. I can tell you one thing, I'm either going to abstain Hey, buddy. I'm good. How are you? Talk to Hutchers. That doesn't bother me when you say Metallica because I am Metallica. Oh, he did. Is that the car there? Or is it one of those nice Jaguars out front? I think so. Come on, dude. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, man. I had to run around and try to find.